What's up, guys, and welcome to another 2v2 of Planetary Annihilation. This time we're going to be gaming it up on a custom map that these guys have made. Doesn't look like our spawn locations are any good. That's okay. I, I don't even see any metal close. The North Pole one looks horrible. Both North Pole. So here's a go. Go to the North Pole one with the uh, plateaus. Yeah. Or the, uh, you know what I'm saying, the little mountain ridges in it. Yeah. And then we will head towards the North Pole. Or you go towards the body of water. And I'll go away from the body of water. There's no metal near the body of water. Yeah, there is. Oh, that's good. Do you see it? Okay, yeah, I see. Yeah. And I'm gonna head walking way over that way. You gonna head south, pretty much? Yep. Oh, yeah. bad spawn. We're just gonna go yep. ahead and start over here. It's a horrible spawn. So yeah, I'm, I'm happy that we're on a uh, pamatch.com. Very cool. You know, sometimes I'm not sure he he, he thinks uh, I'm Mackle Downey or your genocide or not. I think he's got it. Yeah. Straightened out, figured out. So that makes me uh, want to improve. Gosh more. damn it! They're right here. Falling back. We're gonna be way behind. Yeah. I'm just. Hmm. I'm gonna start energies on my walk over to that other metal. So. Yeah, this is. I mean, could be bad, could be not. See how could, it goes. What do you mean, could be bad? This is horrible. I have yet to build an energy or a metal extractor. Yeah, tempted. To, uh, I'm gonna throw out a vehicle factory right now. Yeah. After uh, this energy goes up. So we have yet to be in this situation yet, and we are gonna be completely winging it here from here. I'm just gonna go ahead and throw down three metals on my way over to this large patch to the. Let me orientate north. Mm. West of us. Yeah. Get this. Throw some more energy. Hopefully my uh, commander doesn't get stuck. I don't think he will. Okay. So I don't need a scout. I'm no. Gonna go, uh, I'm going two fabricators and then into ants. Sounds like a plan. Is that you? You got Mama? Emma with you? No, she's passed out. Good. I make a funny noise in my voice or what? Yeah. Sound like Emma puked again. <laughs> so, since this is so close, I'm gonna, I'm gonna actually uh, send out some defense. Hmm. Quite strange. You're gonna have to let me know how our energy and metal's doing. I don't have the uh, bars up. You don't have any bars up. Uh, we're plus 400 and uh, plus 21. Basically, I'm going to get a quick energy storage and a metal just uh, because I know we got the early <coughs> late with our e economy, so it's going to help with the spiking. Right. I know there's a button to hide that and to bring it back. I just don't know what it is. Alright, now we're at uh, negatives. I got energy going up. Yeah, we need energy. It's like control... Control H is health bars. So it's control S maybe? No. Control Z. No. Hmm. Darn it. Commander's going straight energy. Alright, I, I need to start producing ants. Oh, 
not chopping our uh so it's alright, we're at negative seventeen uh metal, but we got fifteen hundred stockpiled. Nice. Uh definitely going defense. Making uh are we doing gentlemen's where we don't have one uh wall to tart? I say we just play like gentlemen, okay. whether they are or not, and just try to win with straight up play. <clears throat> yeah, uh, I've been looking at PA's PA Match dot com. It's a it's a great website. I like that they they just started a tournament. I'm, I want to see the results in that, and hopefully they get a. I want to see more two versus two tournaments going around. And we would definitely like to join a part in within those tournaments if yeah. we get some gaming time during the same time as those tournaments. I work nights. I'm a registered nurse at the hospital here in town, and I usually game from like 10 at night till 4-ish in the morning with my buddy Mitch here. Yeah, very excited that we're on we're on that website. And if you're just checking us out on YouTube, go ahead and visit pamatches.com because not only do they have our games, they have uh, games from other players and casters that the creator of that website enjoys. So if you enjoy watching us, there's a high probability you will enjoy the other matches as well. What's the range on Pelters? Ah, not that far. Okay. Throw a van uh, uh, radar up. I'm up to uh, four bot factories. Alright, yeah, start pumping out and uh, I think we can still get a good harassing. I got an air factory going up. I want to scout. I'm going to go around that little lake. They're scouting us now. I'm kind of short on my vehicle factory simply because I had to walk so far. So I'm just going to be now getting it up after this metal extractor. And that's going to be how I follow Mitch into Tier 2. Tier 2 is going up now. We need to get up. Uh, going on a harass. Uh, yeah. Go harass. I got a couple towers up. You should be doing something. There's metal behind the two lakes and in between it. Okay, you see that radar? They have a radar right there. I'm going to go see if I can take it out with some ants. Okay. No, never mind. It's not a radar. It's moving. What was it? I don't know what it's doing. Feel free to use the spawning bots in any defense. Okay. Ooh, scouted me with an air scout. Very nice, very nice. So he knows my attack is coming from behind him. Yeah, I'm gonna go scout him. Get the factory up. I'm coming going in tier two. In the back of his base right now with a bunch of bots. All right, and I see, I'm uh, dropping metal. He's moving his army to try to defend it. Oh yeah, you got a if nice army poke. coming in. If you can see that. Yeah, I'm backing up. Um, if you can poke in the front of his base while I draw his army back. Okay. Yeah, you stay His back army's there. currently chasing me. Yeah, let him chase you. I gotta go to my Vans factory. Build another one. So I zoomed out too far. 
and lost track of my army and I hit the T button and it went back to Did your army die? You still got it? I still got it. If you hit T Commander's coming. Come on, commander's oh. on my side. I got commander. Let's see which way you going. He's putting up a radar. I got I've since scouted him. He's building bombers. Kill some of these storages. He's got bombers. Oh, yep. oh come on. What am I trying to take out a turret? Oh, okay. How's our uh, income doing? I'm doing fine. We need a we need a build. Roger that. Tier two uh, energy is going up. Excellent, excellent. Throwing down an advanced know. factory of my own. All right, oh, shit, we got a bombing raid on us. Where much you got? That? Get over here. I'm gonna change the rally point of my bots so they don't get killed for free. Throw a couple anti-air turrets up, and then go back to building my advanced factory. So uh, yeah, I'm gonna go uh, spinners. His I'll bombers are sitting there idle. I'll pump he it out must... anti-air. Yep. They're coming straight over. Okay. Two more bombers coming over here. They're dead. We need more players. We need a. Uh... Okay. Get off me. Please glitch. Quit. Quit. It's coming out now. Still got bombers over there. Scared them away with anti-air. All right. Good. Where would they gonna come up with that? Alright, we need to let the... You, did you get your energy, energy bars back? Nope. Okay, we need to let it build up. Set negative 25. Pulling oh. off a bunch of fabricators? How's it looking now? 300. Let me get this uh, advanced energy up. Okay. Because I'm going to spike it with the leveler soon. Alright, we're going to let it build. I'll tell you when to build again. So the bombers are coming in behind the base, but... Uh, I still have that advanced bot factory going up. Are we still in the negative? And I'll pull some more off. Go ahead. You're good. Go ahead and build. Go ahead and build. Got tier two. Bot factory going up in tier two vehicle factory. Yeah. We're in negative my... 8k and we're in the zero now. Okay, and I'm gonna pull some guys off here in two seconds. Pulled off. How are we looking? We need to get. We gotta attack in the back. I need. Uh, they're attacking my advanced factories. Tanks are so slow. How's our energy looking? We're good now. It's uh. Now watch it. Tell me what it does. Negative ten. I'm gonna get some levelers out real quick with some assist. The energy should start tanking. Let me know when to pull it off. We're at zero right now. Zero energy? Yeah. We gotta play these guys again. I just think we need to tech hard into tier two economy. Ooh, big attack coming at the front. I would use your commander's D-gun. Because it doesn't look like he has any levelers. I'm pulling your commander forward. I'm going to kite with your levelers. Yeah. I would start advanced. Ooh, bombers are coming in. Attack the levelers. Well played, well played. Looks like they're hurting on tier two.
Alright, time to come back. I need, right, looks we need like to get some advanced energy up. Okay. Making advanced bot fabrication vehicles. Where are my fabricators at? I need just new one. Eh, yeah, my commander. That'd be good enough. Rallying my factories to the <clears throat> front lines. How's our energy looking? Zero. Everything's in zero right now. Okay. I'm going to start tier two energy like a madman. The, I think how we're going to win this game is to make a significant investment into our economy. While we defend, and I think how they prevent us from winning is going to be backstabbing us. Yeah. Okay, they're coming back in with the uh, ants in the same spot. So we're gonna move these up, scare them off. I'm telling my spinners. Okay, and I got some anti-air for their bombers. Nice. We got this attack covered. I'm control wanting the group of levelers. That way I can kite them with the levelers. I'm trying to move the levelers back, but the army's kind of getting in the way. Levelers are doing pretty good damage. Do they have levelers? No, they do not. So as long as we keep our levelers kiting and out of range of their ants, Man, we're going to be able push. to. Want to push. push off this attack. I, had ju I jumped your uh, people off your energy. You got too many people on it. Where right. Uh, well, let me uh, jump back onto it. See how fast it goes. Man, didn't even lose a leveler. What I'm talking about. No, we just killed a bunch of ants. How's our energy looking? We're in negatives, but I'm going to push it on. My airplanes. Sending reinforcements to the front lines. Actually, you know, I'm going to come back to the back. I'm going to defend our rear okay. with the minimal amount of forces. So they got a nice amount of bombers. Doing pretty good. They're expanding very well. Let me kill that guy. Kill him. That's gay. I can't. Do yeah, we can come back from this. That energy. We need. Get that tier two energy is almost up. You need to uh, take a break after that. Yeah, we're at plus 7,000. Let us sit. Um, I'm, I'm just going to put fabricators on there piece by piece, and you let me know when it starts to go down. And then I'll pull one off. Is it going down yet? We're at four, uh, negative 4. Negative 4? No, no. I'm going to pull we're good, one we're off. Good. Keep them on. Keep them on. Uh, give me that. Uh, I'm taking that one. Okay. I'm going to continue to put fabrication vehicles on this one at a time. Aren't you building tanks? Okay, we're at negative four. Keep going, I'll tell you where we're It should go up before we hit zero. Okay, they're coming in with a bot attack. The southern part of our base. Okay. I'm bringing in bots to intercept. Got my commander. So they were able to take out a single factory with that push. Okay, how's our energy looking? Good. Tell me when it starts tanking real hard and not whenever it gets close to zero I'll pull off. Now it's time to start building catapults at our lines, I believe. Yeah. Is there, is there energy tanking? Yeah, take them off, take it off. 
Just only, just leave the on it. We're, we're spending too much time on this. Where's your advanced guy? Let me worry okay. about the energy. Okay. That's probably a smart idea since I can't see it. Because I can sit here and just... I got an advanced radar going up at our... Yeah, we need, we need to do something fast before uh, our stalling economy bites us in the ass. Yes. Okay, moving up. Forces to meet the main army. Let me, uh... Oh, we need advanced radar up front. It's time to sing levelers. It's going to be key to kite with those levelers. Command I'm going to start wall production out at the rear of our base. And throw up turrets every so often behind the wall just so we can't get backstabbed while we're doing this frontal attack. Got to advance radar up. As soon as that's complete, I'm going to start catapult production. All right, Mitch. Our army is almost... They're going to see you coming. Where's my air? Screw it, that's fine. They didn't see you coming. Man, this planet's small. <laughs> I'm pulling the bots off to the side and out of bomber. Now I'm going to start running diagonal in front of the army, hoping that I'm causing some misses while continuing to move my main army forward. I'm continuing to move the bots in sidewards patterns. Now I've got the turrets facing the wrong way. They're focused on my bots, and my main army is eating into the flank of the main army. And it looks like we have made a pretty good comeback from a bad spawn position. Defended off the bomber harass they got rather a, nicely. They got walls coming up. Continuing to zigzag the bots. And we are eating into their main base. Doing terrible, terrible damage. Oh, come on. Now we're going to try to keep an eye out on whenever their commanders come forward and try to not lose the entire army to a commander explosion. Oh, we're being attacked. I did not see it. I need to turn my volume up. That was bad. We're losing a lot from our flank. Yeah. I think we are doing more damage. From my view of things, I've seen the commander, so I'm backing up with our main army. Yeah, head towards our base. You see where I have it in a... You need to head towards our base again. They got towers and stuff lining up on our... Uh, on, our on pretty much everything. I got catapults going up, but we're in the negative, so I gotta pull back. I'm gonna send a group of bots to try to focus his tier 2 factory down while keeping my turrets facing the right way to his advancing army, and they're throwing up the GG. GG. Because they believe that I've pretty much taken out their main base. Oh. I wrecked their economy. We. <laughs> Split, split, oh no, yeah, get, pull them away from those, uh, cannons and towers. Are you leveling all your ants? It's all the ants. Where's all my levelers? I've lost all but one of them. Screw it. Sending a... F Why did, no, you did not just do that. Why'd you click everything? Piss me off. 
Who? Me? No, 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 me. Usually if uh, you you zoom out and click all the... Everything. Like, highlight everything, it only gets, like, combat units. Right. Yeah, it didn't happen that time. Hmm. I see you push forward on those towers. Yeah, I'll let you do that. I'm gonna bring some tier 2 bots from behind the towers when the main army shoots the front. And I'm turning the towers in the wrong direction, they're facing the, the bots. Excellent, excellent. Manipulating the tower movement. I don't like how cramped we are. <laughs> Basically, we're, we're still in the negatives, but... Let's see what I can take off here. I don't even know who's... Okay. There we go. Put that back in there. We will not be taken alive. I so, love the spirit uh, of these guys. Got some air. Carbahama? I like that name. Yeah, take the others, Commander. Never mind, don't you get it? Uh, you didn't get the units. No, nope, falling back. The rear of our base has now become the front lines. The front lines, we have made significant grounds. Gains. We need to start taking the metal that was at the front of their base. Looks like they're trying to retake it. That's okay. Don't use all those people for metal. Get catapult up. That's what I need to do. Yeah, all my units stop producing. Uh, we're gonna hit the negative soon. In energy? Yeah. Oh, we've been negative in energy for a while. Let's see if I figure out where his commander went out to. He's got a pelter up. So that's cheap. I, my uh, anti-air can't shoot fireflies when they're on the ground. I've seen anti-air shoot ground before. Haven't I? I believe I have. Alright, we're plus 5k, but we need a little build up. Okay, we need to build those catapults closer to the front lines. After this catapult goes up, start building one by our army. Make him come out and engage us. What's more? No, no, no. Come on. Did our economy just take a nosedive? Yeah. Hey, it's good now. Oh. First catapult is approximately 50% done. From a bad spawn location, we have made a good game out of this. And the, the rush. I think they, uh, you know, they expanded well. The, I, what, what I've seen, they expanded well. They they pushed, they harassed, they got defense, but they were lacking getting into tier two quick yeah, enough. Yeah, I, I didn't see levelers coming out. I didn't. I right, pulled back on those guys. Pulling back on over half the group. Okay. Put a uh, two on. What do you think? We, can we attack yet? No. I think we got them. We got more levelers. Go ahead and push into the back. I'll rally all the factories to where this catapult's going up and we'll protect it. If you'll rally all your tier 2 factories to that catapult that's going up at the front lines. The new front lines. Yeah. First catapult in the heart of our base is complete. We could, uh, I mean, we could sit back and let it hit. Um, or we could push. I only have and three, it's, three, uh, it's two, two bot factories. 
Right. So I'm gonna start building some more. Okay, we're at plus seven thousand right now. We're about to go down to plus one. And we're about to take a nosedive because I'm going to throw a bunch of fabbers on this catapult in the front okay, lines. Okay, well, I'm going to have... Okay, we're at plus 10,000 right now. Are you attacking? No, yeah. Okay. I'm not going to, like, go all in with everything. I'm going to try to get cool. him to Hug bring the, his army out. Um, yeah, I agree with that. As soon as I meet heavy resistance, I'm gonna fall back and try to bring his army into range into our catapult range. So right now, I'm just trying to lure his army out. Now he's selected all his groups and he's thinking about coming and fighting me. And then he pulls back. He's trying to come in with a bunch of bots. It looks like. Now he's pulling back. He sees me moving the army left and right with the radar tower for sure. I'm gonna go ahead and start spreading out this army in a line so he doesn't find any holes and he's looking for a hole, he's running up and I've started to spread out the army I accidentally took part of the army in pelter range, falling it back looks like our catapult on the front lines is about to complete yeah, I mean that's, that's fine if these guys are just gonna sit right there, I got a catapult up in the middle of the base, I should be firing at him Right. Okay, I say, right. say we. Ooh, he's running in for a bot attack. And I've defended with a T2 bot, one leveler, and an ant. Nice. Gotta pull this up. I'm gonna let Gotta it build up, up before we start. Well, I'm gonna start one. Where'd your tier two guys go? Yeah, I'm gonna start one and take people off. So now our catapult is slowly picking at their front lines. Whenever it starts to wear down on their defenses slightly, we're gonna move in. I'm gonna dance back and forth with this army. I see what you do. Um. I still got air going up. Yeah, I'm gonna get some more air. I like to be able. To, oh, yeah, anti airs be fine right now. Running in with just two tier two bots to kind of scout everything out. He's falling way back in his base. He's trying to get out of the catapult range. Which is wise. Looks like I'm gonna get a clean engagement. Engaging his army nicely. Gonna try not to lose the whole army on his commander. Gonna select half the army and bring forward to engage. The other half is going to wait in the background in case it's not enough. His commander's coming forward to try to make his explosion get our whole army. Of course not. Of course you didn't. Oh. His commander is at like 1% health. He's starting to lose production facilities. Yeah, we're getting, getting a lot. Yeah, we lost that one. All right. Expect we didn't lose. We made gains. Oh yeah. But it wasn't the killing finishing move. No. Yeah. I'll get back on that. A nice thing about having catapults in the heart of our base is it prevents them from getting naval in this body of water that separates us and 
attacking us from this this little lake, this body of water here, without us being able to okay. deal damage to them. And that's why we like to f get our first catapults near the heart of our base instead of encroaching on their front lines. My cat's attacking my feet. <laughs> So, the way we're playing right now is we're trying to secure the victory. If we throw army after army after army at them, we'd probably win. But right now, what ensures the victory is when you get ahead, get more ahead. Don't go for the kill. When you go for the kill, something fluky could happen, like you lose half your army on their commander or your whole army, and then they come in with a counterattack. And that counterattack wins the game. Okay, Blake, we have this little army uh, by your your uh, level one factory, so I'm taking to the back. Okay. I want to see what they have back here. Halter. Uh... Take some levelers with you. Yeah, they're going with the. There's about four in there. Okay. I want to hit him in the back. If this is all they have, I mean... See, I can't shoot the bomber that's on the ground. Shoot him. That's so gay. And then when your your uh, ants went by, they didn't shoot him either. Hmm. That is definitely a glitch in the game. Yeah, kettle pups are doing work. If you look at Mitch's commander, he has a bunch of anti-air around him. That is excellent. And is going to prevent any snipe comebacks that they try to do. I don't think we're killing all their... Uh... Man, we need more ant uh, levelers. So we're sitting at plus 400. I need more. Advanced energy? Yeah, I got one just, just now about to go up. Excellent. And I'm going to start another one. That army that you're moving to the old front lines is now reaching it. Cool. I'm gonna harass their metal in the back. He's coming in with an attack. And he pulls back. He's trying to draw me out into his pelter range. Oh, we're about to go over there. I think we, I mean... And he was successful with a minute section of the army. But I'm microing it back. Our second catapult at the old front is about to complete. Ooh, and he's getting artillery. He's getting artillery? Nice. What's he getting? The vehicle? Mobile artillery? artillery. Yeah. 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 I'm just going to run in with a couple bots and just try to snipe Okay, it. well, um, keep those uh troops clicked on. I'm going to attack from the back. I want to see what their troops up front do. Okay. The tanks are so slow. Forming a nice calm cave at the second front lines. So basically what I'm going to do, I'm going to go uh, start going past her. I want to uh, attack this tower. I'm going to send my line past it and then click attack on it so they all move in one kind of group and we just take it out see now I got a line going in and he only takes out one with it what's his army look like up front he's, got he's yeah. still pretty large he's not coming out towards me I'm taking out his tier 2 stuff he has nothing no defense no nothing
he's basically throwing it all in now at my lines. So now it's time to sandwich him. They're going in from the old front and I'm going in at the new front. The bots that are in the front, I'm keeping moving in zigzag patterns till they fall. And now they've got pretty much nowhere to go. I'm just going to come into the heart of their production. So even if we do lose this war, they won't be able to reinforce yep. the second fight. I think our catapults will take them anyway. Getting into their tier 2 energy. I think that was a big problem of theirs as they waited too long to get into tier 2 energy. They're bringing b forward two commanders, backing half the army up. Managed to save about a quarter of it. And I'm going to fall that back to link up with the units now spawning. Good game, well played. Depthy and Gabra Masuk. Their last commander's coming out on a fight. Good game with some bad spawns in the beginning, Mitch. Yeah. Well played, sir. You know, we had that rush coming. I, I just looked up, there's like 15 ants, 20 ants. Yeah, I don't know. You want to throw down a after game review oh, for yeah. the viewers? That's a great game. Oh, check out their base. We've already seen our base. Home. Home. Come on, come home. <coughs> so, tell me when you push play and I'll push it with you. Push and play. And then tell me how many times you hit fast forward. Three. We'll go two. One, two. Let's see where they, uh, so yeah, we had, okay, they're just chilling there. Yeah, we spawned right, right next to each other. And we were both wanting this big piece of metal. Yep. And I could have cheesed them and started some commander fighting and stuff, but I said, decided just to fall back and try to rely on strategy and hmm. hopes that we were more capable players. I probably should have done some harassment on that medal in the beginning. Oh, with your commander? Yeah. Maybe, but I mean, then we, we would definitely be back in a... We'd be low on an economy. Right, and it pr wouldn't be too smart with their com with you headed in the opposite direction, yeah. and both their command commanders co-located in one spot. So basically, they they pump out three vehicle factories and produce a whole bunch of fabricators, which is nice. You can keep your uh, commander building building the vehicle factories. Usually a good I idea because he builds twice as fast as the tier one. Fabricators. So if you want to get get your uh, factories up, have your commander on it at the beginning. It looks like his other commander. All he did is economy. He got that whole metal patch. Over here we we jumped into tier two, which I think probably saved us tier two. Having the like one or two levelers against. You know, like one leveler and five ants might be able to take on 15 ants or something if you position them right. Yeah, him scouting you. Well, he's got a commander sitting right back there, too. But actually, you ran away scared. His commander. You know, I actually, I just, I, I tried a bot rush, which 
worked pretty I could, took out a couple energy store uh, metal storages but decided to take on a laser defense tower which was stupid you know in the little in the beginning of the game they had eight bombers that were just positioned right outside our base and they yeah it, forgot about them they could have done some good damage with that to our economy before we got the anti-air up he took six of them out with the, with the hands. hands yeah I don't know why I started building the tier 2 towards them. Realized that after I saw all these ants and uh, bombers. And fireflies. Yeah, so I got two levelers. Pushing them back, kiting, takes out. I still got them. Kiting with levelers is key if you are outnumbered. Also, focus firing. In a previous game, Mitch was microing an army and he was severely outnumbered. Yeah, I'm in the leveler count, and he focus fired the enemy's levelers while keeping his alive, and it totally swung the tides of war. Yeah, but, and in that match, like, uh, it's great to throw your commander out there because what happened there, they saw the commander. I had no troops left. They saw the commander and backed up. Which I think if they pushed, kept pushing, they could have took out this metal and lost 15, 20 ants. But took out like five or six metals, which I think is worth it. Right. And another key thing that I think helped us win that game is when our first big devastating push yeah, you was going out. into their base and came in possible confrontation with their commander. I totally avoided the commander and just ate more into the heart of their base. Yeah. Because you're going to do more damage that way than you are if you kill the commander. Yeah, commanders are a good key role in defense. You know, <laughs> it sucks to go down to one, but I mean, you can always use one for defense, which that's what we did and worked out well. And that didn't end the game there, no. But it got us ahead, which we used to get more ahead. And you keep doing that, just whenever you get a lead, try to increase on that lead. Don't try to end the game. And you do that enough times and basically the game just implodes with your victory. I'm kind of sad I never used my towers that I built. That was a great game. Good comeback. Very good game. Yeah. Thanks for watching, guys. Come back and thank you. See your future.